Good afternoon. Thank you for coming here today. I'm Ji Sung Kim from Rare Stealing Headquarters. When the most strict systems clash, as such as uh, national borders, capitalism, and media, it produces in turn an empty space inside, and we see a tricky way which is not legitimate but not illegal. It is a type of crack in a system showing an ambiguous position that no clear law or character can be inside, uh, can be assigned or applied. The Well Stealing Headquarters is an organization which unearthed these cracks with a close look into the system and research on the methods of being parasitic to systems. Uh, taking advantage of systems. Today, I would like to tell you about the methods of West Delhi, which our institution has discovered so far. Number one, we're stealing the forbidden places. There are two major squares in Seoul, Seoul Square and Gwanghamun Square. Seoul Square is right in front of City Hall. Gwanghamun Square is in front of the U.S. Embassy in Seoul. But these, all, all these squares are not functioning as squares. Sometimes this is how they look sometimes. In Korea, it's illegal to have demonstration outside after sunset. And by demonstration, they mean the gathering of two or more people. Especially for Gwanghamun Square, almost all activities are prohibited uh, other than casual walking during the daytime. Some people who did a flash mob there were actually arrested. I went to Gwanghamun Square once with my friends at night. We were wearing hoodies because it was very cold and we, have, we must have seemed very punk, so police stopped and checked us, even though we didn't do anything. So I developed an innovation device to safely occupy your space and to break the situation abruptly. Here it is a black hoodie saying invisible man in the front and pretend, pretend you don't see me in the back. In Seoul, I went to the scares during the nighttime with nearly 100 people to see if these hoodies are functioning properly. To my, surpri to my surprise, in the most strict Gwanghamun Square, the police thought a lot about whether they should pretend they don't see us or not. And actually, they did pretend they don't see us in the end. I would like to show you the video of it.
Number two, we're stealing at the border. My friend was in Afghanistan in 2004, the time when American travelers were forbidden to enter because it was after U the US attack on Afghanistan. But my friend did meet an American backpacker. She asked him, how did you get here? And he answered that, he came to Afghanistan by land, and the immigration officer at the border couldn't read the alphabet. So he gave his passport that read the United States of America to the immigration officer and said to him, I am a French citizen. So he could enter to Afghanistan as a French. Similar thing happened to me the personal information page on my passport got completely ripped out seven years ago when I was across, when I'm crossing the border from Bulgaria to Turkey. And for the next two years after that, I could enter London with the ripped out passport, even it was af right after the terrorist attack in the subway. I also went to Bulgaria, Hungary, Austria, Germany, Belgium, Italy, Indonesia, Australia, Hong Kong, and Japan without any problems, as well as with the ripped out passport. Number three, we're stealing the time of politicians. In the subway in Korea, there are a lot of illegal advertisements for jobs. So I made the same type of job advertisement for the secret agents, very well paying, and put the phone number of the Office of Korean Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism. I guess the minister's office have been very busy answering calls from people who wanted to make a lot of money. Number four, we're stealing the media. There is a very popular expression in Korean, which is her, it's pronounced as her. It's usually said when people talk to themselves in a somewhat mocking way, when they are baffled, absurd, by 
something, but it can be used as an exclamation almost any kind of situations to show you are amazed by something like awesome. In 2010, there was a big regional election in Korea where our former mayor of Seoul, Sehun Oh, ran for re-election. Who is one of the worst politicians ever, I think. Therefore, I wore a t-shirt that said her on it and went to his campaign locations to stand behind him as the background. Since he was running for the mayor of Seoul, all channels of media paid attention to and broadcasted every one of his moves or words. And I stood as the background, no matter what he said, creating a situation which was very hard, baffled, absurd. In the same year, G20 summit took place in Seoul. Again, the press from many different countries delivered the news about the summit live, uh, or the T-shirt printed her again was stand behind the reporters to broadcast my message toward the G20. Let's see the video.
어디서 오셨는데요? 아, 저는 마포구 사는데요. 네. 학교 갔다 오는 길에 들렸어요. 아, 대학생이세요? 네, 대학생. 중학생. 제일 어려 보이는데. 대학생이에요. 대학생. 네. 왜요? 뭐 문제 있어요? 찍으면 아니, 안 돼요? 아니요. 아니, 아니, 저희 분야 보통 여기 있으시고 한 번씩 이렇게 검문검문 하거든요. 네, 네 알겠습니다. 즐기세요. 네. 네. 있잖아요. 그래서 약간 이 행사를 싫어하나라는 느낌을 받을 수가 있어요. 사람들이 네. 무슨 말인지 알겠어요? 아, 그런 거? 응, 옷이 좀... 어, 옷이 왜요? 어감이 허리라는 네. 게 약간 여기에 좀 싫어하나 이런 느낌이 들 수가 있어요. 그리고 이게 이제 캠커도 촬영하는데 이런 데또 이제 중요 행사니까 약간 음. 민감할 수도 있어요. 아, 어 근데 네. 저희 그 약간 이거 스케치 하고 있는 건데 네. AP 통신 같은 데에서도 오히려 네. 아 촬영해도 괜찮다고 가까이 와서 자, 잘 보이게 촬영하라고 네. 그러고 그랬는데 왜 저희 쪽에서 제재하는 거예요? 아. AP 통신은 뭐 네. 통신이니까. 네. 저희가 제재하는 건 아니죠. 지금 그 외국인한테 불쾌감을 줄까봐 그러시는 아니요. 거 아니에요? 그런 거 아니에요? 아니에요. 그런 거 아니고. 네. 네. 이게 아니고, 그러니까 뭐 저희가 우리가 피켓을 들고 있거나 하면 제지를 하거든요. 근데 뭐 피켓 들고 있는 상황도 아니니까 아니긴 한데 지금 옷이 헐이잖아요. 네. 헐은 보통 좀좀 네. 헐하면 좀좀 얼덥다는 뜻이 좀 들어있잖아 조금. 그, 그런 우리 입장에서 거야? 한번 생각해 보면 그렇잖아요. 근데 좀 세대간 생각하는 게 다른 것 같은데 저희는 그냥 와 대박이다 막. 좀막 네. 좋을 때도 헐, 막 이렇게 아, 하는데요. 좋을 때도 쓰는 용어네요. 넘버 5. We're stealing Starbucks. I reveal the instruction of drinking free hot chocolate in Starbucks so that young people could comfort their troubles with free hot chocolate in Starbucks. Here's the instructions. It's so easy. I assume this movement of random crowds who sit around the Starbucks and drink free hot chocolate will take an important step, important position after the tea party movement and coffee party movement, hot chocolate party movement. Number six, we're stealing fear or something else. I promoted legal theft in mega stores As you all know, there was a big radioactive accident in our neighboring country, Japan, last year. And this year, Korea hosted nuclear security summit. Actually, the original plan to give the radiation protective suit to summit participants was impossible because of the tight security. So, I put the radiation protective suits in large sized stores like H&M bookstores and marts in Seoul. Then I uploaded the information of their locations so that people can go as customers to steal them. There are the pictures.
Thank you very much. Are there any questions in the public? Hello. Um, just uh, do you know if there's there's been any kind of concrete results, or do you do you kind of try to follow what happens after your actions? If actually it influences opinion or kind of it changes um, anything? Actually, I I didn't intend the concrete result uh, result because the you saw it. Her is. Her has really variable meaning. It doesn't. It doesn't translate in on on one meaning. It has. It can be translated in many meanings. I met the mayor of Seoul at the time, but the mayor of Seoul he was pleased to see me because her is. Her can be translated by amazing. Okay, but then the, the public gathering project, then the other the other event. I mean, uh, it broadcasted to the news, so is it right answer? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, yeah, it helps. Thank you. Other questions? <laughs> okay. Then thank There's you. one here. There's one more question. Thank you.